welcome back to another vlog i combined two days into one vlog for you guys so you're welcome we started out with a workout so today was back and shoulders i feel like back and shoulders is a pretty dangerous combo together i don't know i just feel like both of those combined just really do give you a really good workout you definitely are going to be sore the next day here's me but i also have been incorporating these more into my routine we do switch out some things like the pull downs we typically do every single time but there are certain moves that we do different variations and this is one of them so i just use like a regular barbell and bent over rows in that way and then we did these which are also one of my favorites this is the fly machine we just did it reverse so you can use this machine for chest or back and I love them for both actually like literally one of my favorite machines because I feel like I feel these more than just using dumbbells and I'm sure other people feel the same way but for me this helps me just keep my form good where I also feel it and then for shoulders we have shoulder presses with dumbbells so sometimes I used to like the bar for these but lately I've just been liking the dumbbells so, like I'm weird like my way of working out just changes like the other machine I don't like using dumbbells but for this one I did like using dumbbells and then this is another machine Machine that we like to alternate with for shoulders instead of just your regular lateral raises I just switched it up with that one and then also switched it up because there was no more dumbbells available I used a plate and did another shoulder exercise using that one of my favorite back exercises are face pulls and we actually instead of using the rope that we used to use we used this that we have in this gym and we really like them better I feel it so much more in my upper back so definitely try face pulls if you haven't yet Welcome back to another vlog. Started off the vlog at the gym. As you guys saw, we did some shoulders and back. Two of my favorites. Anyways, it's time to shower. Also, this is like me. Like literally in the winter, once it gets cold and freezing in the morning and you like literally don't want to go to the gym because it's so cold outside. I just wear this. I mean, I wear this anyways, like baggy clothes to the gym. I'm not one of those girls that wants to just, you know, look super cute in their workout outfits. Like I'd wear baggy stuff. I wear baggy stuff because I want to be comfy and cozy plus I need to do laundry but like yeah still anyways these are my favorite they've lasted so long these Amazon zip ups the fair forest green one is literally my favorite and then these leggings from Halara super cute but we're gonna shower now and then I need to throw in a load of laundry if there's one thing about me whenever I get new clothes I always wear them right away so I just threw on after my shower this super cute set from lounge so comfortable especially because I'm gonna be just like working from home today not really going anywhere so love that I just got a package in that I just opened from Chamberlain coffee I'm so excited to try it for you guys in another video this is their new clever cardinal peppermint mocha blend so if you're into peppermint mocha we will be tasting this it smells literally like Christmas I already opened it but smells really good and i'm not like i honestly have never tried a peppermint mocha before but we're gonna try it out and then they sent me a double walled mug which you guys know i love my double walled mug truly keeps your drink warm for so long and it's so cute and so aesthetic i'm obsessed it's time for lunch though because i'm starving and then we're gonna get to doing lots of work and like how i romanticize like my work from home life experience because i think that's very important so you don't go crazy and i'm in the mood for some warm hot oatmeal I didn't make a shake this morning, but we're I'm in the mood for something warm because it's like freezing and yeah, so I'm gonna put this stuff away and we're gonna make some oatmeal because also these bananas are like really ready and that's when it's like perfect to mix into your oatmeal because it's sweet since I don't add any sugar or anything like that. So same recipe as before this meal never looks appetizing so like i'm not even really gonna show you guys but it's because i feel like so many people when they're making their freaking oatmeal they put you know different types of berries it looks so aesthetic and i just keep it simple i'm a very picky girl fun fact about me i don't really like fruits that much like mixed into meals and i don't go crazy like i don't like raspberries i don't like a lot of like fruity things like i don't drink juice like that at all so there's a little fun fact of the day but i'm gonna enjoy my hot oatmeal not gonna mind is the laundry that's on my bed that will be handled don't worry but we're going to get the vibes straight and i'm gonna light the by the fireplace candle because 
I'm in my cozy vibes era right now. It's freezing. This one smells so cozy. So, you know, we gotta make the space enjoyable. I always wear my glasses, obviously, or I try to remember to wear my glasses. And then what I like to do, it depends on the type of work that I'm doing. If I'm doing busy work, say emails or like concept planning, where it's nothing like I have to think too, too majorly, I'll put music on or I'll put like jazz music. I'm in the mood right now for something calm, jazz. <laughs> Since like I'm in my room by myself, I don't put on like my headphones or anything like my AirPods. I just will play this out loud. Another tip that I have if you also work from home or like if you're just like doing school from home, like literally anything, always make sure you have a couple things. So like I mentioned, light a candle, something to just be relaxing. And I also have water here. So if you're making yourself coffee, also make sure you have like water with you or something so you don't have to be distracted to get up. So I have lemon water right here. Just poured myself a fresh glass. Get yourself something to snack on maybe, like have it to the side have a napkin to the side just so that you don't have to find little things to just get up and like procrastinate the work that you have to get done talked about this before but time blocking is also great make sure you have a good desk chair and it doesn't matter if you don't have an actual physical desk if you have like a laptop tray or anything you can also just do the same things and especially during the cozier months I feel like you know with the daylight savings and it getting late at night I mean getting dark earlier and you still have to work like I do I work for like I don't even know what time I finish like working but I think it just makes everything Thing much better and you don't feel alone facetime your friends or something and just like do work together and it could just be like to have each other as company that's how to romanticize working from home For dinner, we have a chicken Caesar salad. So good, I need to shake it up. Oh my god, this reminds me of the TikTok. I'm gonna come up here and get one of these. Gotta do the shake. It's a chicken salad. As you can see, the laundry is done and a lot of the stuff on my to-do list are complete. I want to thank Career Fitter for sponsoring today's video. So whether you're a student entering college soon or in college right now, post-grad, literally anybody trying to find their purpose, Career Fitter is here to help you find what you're looking for. And so it's essentially a free online career test, which is amazing because in that short period of time where you're answering all these questions about you, about your work ethic, whether you like working from home, whether you like working alone or in groups, like whatever the case may be, these questions are going to be catered to all of your needs and what you're looking for. I feel like this is such a great way to just kickstart your journey and like get your foot in the door. You get a huge report of your work strengths and your work personality. And I also really like it because it's so detailed. It's not just your generic type of test where you're like, okay, you're matched for this. Like it'll really break everything down for you to understand, really branch out the different parts of your work personality and your interests all in one. And it's amazing. So definitely check them out. So thanks again to Career Fitter for sponsoring today's video it'll be linked down below easy for you guys to just check it out like i said you have nothing to lose so go ahead and take it all right we have our leg and glute day we always see people doing isolated exercises and we're like okay we need to start incorporating these so as you guys see here for the leg curls we do one leg at a time and then for the last like eight reps so we do eight eight and eight so it's a lot of reps but this really makes you sore and is really good challenge for your muscles here and there. And we have these types of RDLs with this bar. I don't even know what some of these stuff are called. I'm not like an expert at like the names, but we just have this little section where you could like put the barbell in and use it like that. So again, we did the same thing for leg extensions. We did one leg and switched and rotated. Guys, my legs were shaking after this. <laughs> it's raining now but anyways we are at target because we are gonna get in the holiday spirit christmas spirit i want to decorate my room a bit finally and just really get in all the holiday spirit in my room because i'm home working there all the time and you guys know this time is my favorite time of year just made it to target and we're gonna get a holiday drink while we walk around and start shopping side note but i'm so excited to like shop for things when I move out. I'm not saying I am right now, but like these type of appliances. Mm, so exciting.
shopping is done for now. Maybe I'll grab things like here and there. I'm not sure if the lights still work. That's why I want to test out before I just buy lights and then not need them. I didn't get like so, so many things just because I'm only doing my room and you know, we're going to be decorating the living room and stuff, which you guys will obviously see. But it's honestly still like a mood booster, just getting in the holiday spirit and like walking around Target, TG Maxx, Home Goods, I'm sure. Like those things just bring me joy, honestly, because it's like so exciting. I do wish they were playing Christmas music or like something. It was so good. Like looking at the trees, I'm so excited to put our Christmas tree up. Oh. 